the opinions of the majority of stakeholders who oppose the Finance Bill 2023 in its entirety during the public participation stage were either ignored or rejected by the National Assembly Finance Committee. And as our very own Seth Olala reports, the majority of the submissions by various entities and individuals openly objected, most of them to the housing levy and the 16% VAT increment on petroleum products. But the report tabled by the Kimani Kuria-led committee appears to have incorporated none of those views. So did the public participation session really matter? <laughs> Part of the 1080 memoranda the National Assembly Finance and Planning Committee received during the nine days public participation stage of the bill included submissions from members of the public, stakeholders from the various sectors of the economy, including agriculture, manufacturing and labor. The initial 3% proposed housing levy and 16% VAT on petroleum products were among clauses that were most contested by stakeholders. For instance, the Kenya Association of Manufacturers in its submission had proposed that Clause 76, which touches on the housing levy, should be deleted since there is need for further consultation on the housing levy so that the public can appreciate its intent. The housing fund proposal was amended to make it a tax as opposed to mandatory contribution and that the rate was reduced from 3% to 1.5%. This will create a very uncertain uh, environment for business. It will defeat the attractiveness of Kenya as an investment destination. A total of 137 submissions from stakeholders objected to the Finance Bill 2023 in its entirety. Out of the 89 email submissions acknowledged by the Finance Committee, 87 objected to the introduction of the housing levy, while only two supported the introduction of the housing levy on account that it will create jobs. This proposal is promising us heaven. It's promising us a very good life in future. But we have to kill ourselves today for us to be able to get that future with the teachings of Pastor Mackenzie. Yourself in the 11th Parliament and the 12th Parliament, you took us to 9.42 trillion shillings debt. The Finance Committee in its report acknowledged receiving submissions from nine stakeholders opposing the introduction of the 16% VAT on fuel. The chairman of the Departmental Committee on Finance and National Planning Committee had on numerous occasions stated that the views of stakeholders on the Finance Bill 2023 will be taken into consideration promising that the public participation stage of the bill was not just hot air. And then we've seen also suicidal rates that have gone up on the youth who are just feeling depressed. They've gone to school and they have no work. Every Kenyan that spoke to us, we are listening to you. And we are going to include your remarks in our report. So what really changed during the committee's week-long report compilation exercise in Naivasha, ahead of tabling of the bill in Parliament for its second reading, Seth Olale, Citizen TV, Nairobi. All right, thanks so much for that, Seth. On the